Welcome to this tutorial on microphone polar pattern diagrams. The polar pattern diagram is used to show a microphone's sensitivity to sound arriving from different directions. They are primarily used by microphone manufacturers and displayed in a microphone's manual or technical specification. They can help us decide whether or not to purchase a microphone and which microphone to choose for a specific recording application. The polar pattern diagram takes the form of a two-dimensional contour map showing the microphone's output at different angles of incident of a sound wave. The centre of the diagram represents the microphone's capsule. This point is surrounded by a series of concentric circles which function as a scale with which to plot the output of the microphone. This scale is variable but typically shows 5 decibel increments. 0 degrees indicates the direction in which the capsule is facing, which is usually the angle at which it is most sensitive to sound and produces the greatest output. The sides of the microphone are shown at 90 and 270 degrees and its back at 180 degrees. A thick line plots the pattern of sensitivity. This plot is created by playing a test tone at a reference level through multiple loudspeakers which surround the microphone. The plot therefore shows how well the microphone picks up sound from all directions. The greater the plot from the centre, the greater the output of the mic at that angle. Because a microphone's sensitivity can change according to frequency, the diagram may show different plots for different reference tone frequencies. Typically, these will be at a range of frequencies such as 8 kHz, 1 kHz and 200 Hz. The plot of sensitivity for a given microphone will depend on its design, characteristics and quality. Most plots show a variation on six common designs. The omnidirectional microphone is designed to be equally sensitive to sound arriving from all directions. The figure of 8 microphone is designed to be equally sensitive to sound arriving from the front and rear and rejects sound from the sides. The cardioid microphone is designed to be sensitive to sound arriving from a wide range of angles at the front. The hypercardioid microphone is designed to be sensitive to sound arriving from a narrower range of angles at the front. The shotgun microphone is designed to be sensitive to sound arriving from a distance at a very narrow range of angles. The script for this tutorial can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com and finally don't forget to subscribe at our website or Facebook or Twitter channel in order to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and member only extras. Thanks very much for watching.